Hi there. Welcome to Apple World Cat Williams is indeed uncovering the malevolent side of Hollywood. Furthermore, he has as of late uncovered how superstars are frequently compelled to, in a real sense, penance somebody they love before they become showbiz royalty in the business. At the point when these rappers wind up dead, it is not coincidental. Someone made $100 million, and I presently don't need to converse with that craftsman. Since Kanye West freely guaranteed that his mother Donda was forfeited for his distinction, there's been a ton of discussion in the media about what truly happens in the background in Hollywood. My mother isn't here. My mother was forfeited. You're out in Hollywood. Many individuals come up missing. It's not simply Kanye who brought up that celebs frequently lose friends and family under dubious conditions in no time before they climb a higher degree of distinction. Quickly. Ruff likewise recently conceded that each time he delivered another task, an individual dear to him died. Indeed, every time I'm going to deliver a collection, oddly enough, man, do you understand what I'm talking about? I generally lose someone near me. So what's truly happening in Hollywood? What did Cat Williams uncover about big names forfeiting their friends and family for notoriety? We should get into it. They killed this $20 million person, yet they arrived at $60 million in benefits. Amazing. Also, they had certain individuals from your city make it happen. There's a noisy discussion going on web based about the dim parts of media outlets, with various specialists transparently expressing that they were asked to propose their friends and family as penances in return for distinction and fortune, as a matter of fact and keeping in mind that many individuals are persuaded this is simply one more paranoid fear, others solidly accept that with regards to Hollywood. The idea of occurrence just doesn't exist. What's more, one of them is Cat Williams, who as of late stood up on the clouded side of the business and made sense of how all that you believe is an incident is really a painstakingly arranged occasion. As Cat made sense of it, Hollywood higher-ups need to keep celebs damaged in light of the fact that that is the means by which they have some control over them and benefit from their injuries. Presently, the possibility that Vips could lose a friend or family member prior to becoming showbiz royalty in Hollywood has been around for quite a while. Nonetheless, it was not long ago that major celebs like Kanye West straightforwardly recognized that Hollywood penances are genuine. Kanye even referenced his mom. Donda, to act as an illustration of such penance. Furthermore, he also referred to a few other celebs whose relatives died under bizarre conditions. God is the main individual that I serve. My mother isn't here. My mother was forfeited. Need you. Do you get it? Better believe it. Michael Jordan. And him? His daddy. Right. Charge Cosby. His child. Right. Dr. Dre? His child. His child. You're out in Hollywood. Many individuals come up missing. It feels like there may very well be a great deal of that. To control damage, they need to adapt. And afterward, there's as quickly as possible. Ruff, who lost a few of his relatives and each time he encountered a misfortune, his notoriety detonated. Back in 2012, Quickly's father, Adrian Mayers passed on unexpectedly only months after quickly marked an extravagant record with Sony Music and delivered his presentation studio collection. And afterward, in January 2015, only four months before Pronto, he delivered his second studio collection. Finally, quickly. His closest companion quickly Sweet Potatoes passed on from a thought of D. And keeping in mind that the planning of both of these cases might have quite recently been a happenstance, Exactly the same thing reoccurred in 2018 when Quick's relative kicked the bucket not long from now before Pronto delivered his third studio collection, Testing. Following this misfortune quickly, he himself conceded during a meeting with Virtuoso that each time he dropped another task, he lost a friend or family member. I don't have the foggiest idea, man. Each time I put out a collection, I'm going to deliver a collection. For some incredibly weird explanation, man. You understand what I'm talking about. I generally lose someone near me. Hops, it was sweet potatoes. It was my sister. I generally lose someone near me. In this way, you know. 
One more frequently referred to as an illustration of a thought Hollywood penance is Jennifer Hudson, who experienced a horrendous misfortune and lost three of her relatives not long before she won her most memorable Grammy grant on October 24, 2008. Jennifer's mom, Darnell Donerson, and her sibling, Jason Hudson, were seen as lethally shot inside Darnell's Chicago home. Jennifer's seven-year-old nephew, Julian Ruler, the child of her more seasoned sister Julia, was accounted for as missing in the outcome. Yet, unfortunately, Julian's dead body was subsequently found in a left-hand vehicle on Chicago's west side, and dissection results affirmed that Julian had sustained different gunfire wounds. Around the same time that Jennifer's mom and siblings' bodies were found, Julia Hudson's alienated spouse, William Balfour, was arrested. Following this, he had to deal with penalties that included three counts of first-degree murder and one count of home intrusion. Furthermore, in spite of arguing that he is not blameworthy for all charges, Balfour was indicted and, in this manner, condemned to three life sentences in addition to 120 extra years. Notwithstanding, it didn't take long before bits of gossip began spreading on the web that this misfortune was a penance of some sort, in light of the fact that Jennifer's advancement matched with this staggering occasion. Eight months before the homicide of her relatives, Jennifer started recording her presentation studio collection, and by June, her single spotlight had turned into her most memorable top 40 hit. Jennifer's self-named debut collection was delivered on September 30, 2008 less than a month prior to the deficiency of her mom, sibling, and nephew. Furthermore, the collection was a gigantic achievement, arriving at number two on the board 200 graph and catapulting Jennifer to overall fame. The collection likewise got three assignments at the 2009 Grammy Awards, with Jennifer winning the Grammy for Best R&B Collection. The Grammy for Best R&B Collection goes to Jennifer Hudson. A few fans have guessed that the family misfortune could have been a reason Jennifer needed to bear her Oscar-winning execution in Beauty Queens. One fan said, I recall when Jennifer Hudson had three family members that were killed all simultaneously by somebody natural to the family. And afterward, she wins an Oscar for supporting actress for the film Beauty Queens. Remember, she had never, under any circumstance, acted in a film or television program in her life before this. You have entertainers and entertainers who have represented 40 to 50 years and always lost an Oscar. I seek divine intervention so that those passings of her relatives don't have anything to do with her triumphant display of honor. Other than that, the clinical inspector at first guaranteed that Jennifer's nephew, Julian, had previously been expired for a range of three days before his body was found. Nonetheless, during the preliminary hearing, when William Balfour's protection lawyer requested that the inspector lay out the exact timing of Julian's passing, the analyst surrendered that Julian could have passed before. This disclosure was significant for the safeguard, considering that Balfour had been captured around the same time that Jennifer's mom and sibling were found. So on the off chance that Julian passed after Balfour was arrested, it would consistently bar Balfour from association with his demise. Balfour additionally kept on keeping up with his guiltlessness, and in 2016, he conceded his most memorable meeting from jail, asserting he had no association with the case. He then, at that point, tried everything. And I was freed from it. Proof the keys were handled a month after the fact. What police division takes proof of someone's interaction a month after the fact? Keys that they said were in a file organizer secured in a sergeant's office who was the bleeder? This multitude of weird subtleties has driven a few fans to hypothesize that Jennifer may be one more illustration of a big name who exchanged a piece of her own life for popularity, possibly including her own loved ones. And keeping in mind that others are persuaded that the whole story about Hollywood penances is a paranoid fear, Cat Williams has as of late guaranteed that there is no such thing as a happenstance in Hollywood. And when a VIP or one of their friends and family kicks the bucket, unexpectedly, there's somebody in the background raking in boatloads of cash off of their injury. These circumstances are just the craftsman's loss. Someone brings in huge cash when these rappers wind up dead. It's not coincidental. Someone made $100 million and presently doesn't need to converse with that craftsman or any of their team. They don't need to approve any of their agreements. 
Presently, I just have to manage the mom. I just get to see her one time each year, and it's finished. And the cash goes up and up and up and up. That is for fans. There are a ton of them who accept that Hollywood penances are genuine. One fan said it was an essential fact of the matter. I've been expressing this for quite some time. Check each significant VIP out. All of them regardless have had somebody near them pass on abruptly, startlingly, by self-destruction. Killed. And so forth. All penances. It's the expense of acclaim and fortune. Also, someone else composed and I trust him. The vast majority of celebrities lose someone near them to forge ahead with cash and notoriety.